Row four is complete. We're gonna turn it. Now we're gonna chain four. Now we're starting to change on what we're gonna do. So one, two, three, four. There's your four chains. Yarn over and in that same stitch, do a double crochet. And then chain one and then skip one and a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. And chain one, skip one, and double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, so let's take a moment and let's count. We should have six double crochets across. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know that we're on track. So now we're gonna start row six. Get my yarn here. Okay, so chain four. One, two, three, four. And in the next top of the neck, we're gonna skip that chain one space. In the top of the next double crochet, we're going to double crochet. And remember, this is not the side we, that we increase on. We increase on the other side. So that's why we just continue on. So let's do it, we do it. I just did a chain one and a double crochet on top of the double crochet. Chain one, and then a double crochet on top of the double crochet. That way you don't even have to count all the way through, you just know you got a chain one, and then you double crochet on top. And then of course you got a chain one, and then remember we did that initial chain four, that counted as a double crochet and a chain one. So our stitch that we're gonna work in is not this one here, it's this one, it's the third chain of that initial starting chain four, and then we do our double crochet. But this is the side that we're going to increase on. So that means we're going to chain one and add another double crochet inside of that. And then we have row six done, and you should have seven double crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have our seven double crochet. Okay, so then row row eight, or I'm sorry, row seven, because I said seven, I'm on to eight. <laughs> so row seven, we got a chain four, one, two, three, four, because remember, this is the increasing side. Every time you get to the increase, and we're gonna double crochet in that same stitch. Every time you get to the increasing side, you always do the increase. Chain one, I slipped that in on you while I was talking, and then a double crochet on top of the double crochet, chain one, Double crochet on top of the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and chain one, and then double crochet into that third stitch, remember, because we did that initial chain four. Okay, so that row is complete. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochet in this row. So now we're moving on to row eight and I gotta get more yarn. Okay, and now we're gonna do one more row here of our chain double crochet chain one. So we have a repeating pattern pretty soon. As you'll notice from this row on, this will be one of our repeating patterns from row five on. So here we go. We're going to chain four, th two, three, four and then double crochet in the top of this other stitch. Oh, my yarn keeps tangling here, pardon me. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, remember, into that third chain. To remember, we need to add that last because this is the this is the straight side, this is the increasing side. <clears throat> so we need to do our chain one, yarn over, and then our double crochet in the same stitch. Now we have our nine. Okay, so now we're gonna Go back to our solids. So here we go. 
we're going to do chain three one two three yarn over in that same stitch do two double crochet one two and then in every stitch across we're going to do a double crochet but instead of going into that chain one stitch I'm just going to go into the space makes it really quick and easy so there we go and then double crochet on top of the double crochet stitch so it makes it very quick and easy to do a double crochet in every single stitch and I got to get more yarn here here we go okay continue to work your double crochets and the nice part is once you get this initial foundational row set up it just repeats and repeats and repeats it's four rows of the double crochet chain one double crochet and then it's four rows of these double crochets all the way through and I just think it just it creates such a lovely pattern now remember this stitch so don't don't goof up that last the the first row that you do that of the double crochet with the chain one you have this chain one right we have to go in here so we go in the inside but we also have that stitch that remember that chain the the chain four counted as a double crochet and a chain one so we still have to do a double crochet in this stitch here the third stitch the third chain because that's a double crochet so don't goof that up so you got to go in there for the chain stitch and then in the loop for that double crochet so in this row here where we do our start with our solids right here <clears throat> and we do um, the chain all this double crochet all the way across we should have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen you should have nineteen stitches all the way across so if you come out with 19 stitches you are doing just great so then what you're going to do is every row if you've noticed every row is increasing by two stitches and it is because and we're only increasing on that one side we're not increasing on both sides so now we're going to work three more rows of our solid double crochet here so on this side here we don't increase so it's just a chain three two whoopsies three yarn over and then remember that is already taken care of with our chain three so then here we're just going to double crochet in the next stitch and each stitch across so it makes it very easy there's no counting there's nothing to worry about any any odd places to crochet you just continue to crochet in your double crochets all the way across it's a very easy simple pattern just love working this pattern it's just repetitive it becomes very relaxing but um, like I said I have found that I could actually do a whole shawl in eight hours now if you're a faster crocheter than me you could do it in less time but I think eight hours is pretty decent and if you have a gift that you want to make for somebody quickly this is a great way to do it I'm almost to the end of this row and this is the add-on row so on the add-on row remember we always add stitches in that last stitch and make sure so we have this stitch here and then we have that top chain of that first initial chain three and sometimes you got to really push it on to get in there so we're going to do our double crochet and then two more double crochet because that's our two extra stitches that we're going to add on every single row now we're going to turn so that is row 10 that's done I'm going to chain three one two three and then in that same stitch right here I'm going to do two double crochet one two and then at each stitch across just like I did last time I'm going to do a double crochet and I'm going to quickly finish that and I'll meet you on the other side okay I'm going to begin row 12 and row 12 is just like row 10 I'm going to do my chain three two three and then I'm going to double crochet in each stitch across one 
two, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue all the way over until I get over here, okay? Okay, I'm going to continue and complete row 12. I'm at the end, so I'm gonna yarn over and make sure that I get my hook in that top chain three, and then do my double crochet. And then because it's the row that I add on to, two more double crochet, because each row we're going to increase two stitches and only one side are we gonna add on to. So here we go, I'm gonna bring my yarn up, but here we go, here's our beginning part of our shawl. So a few things to remember, um, rows, once you, once you get to row 12, you are going to repeat row five to 12. So from here, one, two, three, four, there's four rows of the double crochet chain one, and then there's four rows of the double crochet. So all the way through, and you just continue to expand on one side, and it continues to go and go and go by two stitches. And then eventually, you will end up with just a luxurious feeling shawl like this. this is, see how pretty those stitches look with this color? Just love that. And of course, this one I did here, this one here was in the white, um, the white cotton yarn. And it's just a nice softer yarn, just a little bit um, thinner yarn. Um, I think that they both look very nice. Like I said, shawling of all, it doesn't really matter. I don't think what size um, yarn you use. Um, because, and like I said, the gauge doesn't really matter because you're increasing as you a little bit each time and you make it as long as you desire and as big as you desire. Um, just a beautiful pattern. So um, remember, repeat rows five through 12 and you're gonna increase two stitches um, on one end only each row in between rows five and seven. So um, of course, fasten off your, um, you know, weave in your ends when you're done and fasten off the yarn and um, snip off any extra. But enjoy wearing your beautiful shawl in any way that you'd um, like to wear. Hopefully you're better at fashioning things than I am. Sometimes I think I need new ideas on what to do with it. But I hope that you really enjoyed this pattern. And again, you can find the written pattern on patternprincess.com. I hope that you take a moment to come and check things out and enjoy this. So please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel to make sure that you stay up to date on all kinds of new things that I um, will post for you. Thanks for watching.